a crisis management expert who worked in the Balkans, Indonesia and Iraq, you have great experience on areas where complex conflicts exist. So, according to you, what would be the impact of the regional conflicts in the Middle East, especially in Syria and Iraq, on the peace process in Turkey? Well, I think it's clear that this is a very uh, complex uh, conflict in, in Syria with many ramifications, with many players, um, including uh, ISIS, including the forces of the regime in Damascus. Um, it's uh, also between uh, the Kurds. Uh, Turkey is playing an important role. So um, there are there is an impact of this conflict that goes beyond the border and reaches out into the region and it also has effects i would say on the security situation in in your country um, it would also uh, affect the chances to reach uh, an arrangement with the kurdish community mm -hmm. Uh, during your talk, you highlighted the importance of global context in peace processes. Uh, and since there are many conflicts in all around the world, and uh, the rise of nationalist uh, political parties in many countries is yeah. observed, uh, do you think that the current global context is convenient to peace processes? Well, uh, there, there are a few principles that uh, now become ever more important as uh, fundamentals to maintain uh, order and stability uh, worldwide and also in, in, in at the regional level. For instance, um, the principle of territorial integrity is important. Um, states want to maintain their borders and want to avoid um, parts of the territory falling under uh, out of control of the of the of the capital and, and of the authorities so i think a, a peace arrangements must be found within the context of territorial integrity and therefore in many cases one looks towards uh, models for autonomy um, uh, decentralization, mm -hmm. uh, federalism, um, autonomy rights uh, or minority rights for uh, ethnic and religious communities. Uh, but again, coming back to the specific context here, uh, the Kurdish uh, forces are becoming increasingly a, a factor on the battlefield and therefore they are gaining in some ways international uh, standing and, and, uh, and recognition. So that is something that, that needs to be taken into account. Mm -hmm. uh, you talked about the importance of prevention of increasing conflicts. Uh, in Turkey's peace building processes, what would be the role of the international community and civil society to prevent increasing conflicts? I think it's up to the government and to the president, and he will have to decide if he wishes to enter into a peace uh, uh, process again because there have been various uh, dialogues and processes uh, particularly with the Kurdish uh, community before but that can be resumed that would be of course very beneficial if if the government feels that some form of outside mediation would be helpful that is perfectly uh, possible and, and available. There is a lot of expertise, as we have seen here during this conference. Um, but it's a question of political will. And it is up to, uh, it, nobody can, can um, expect any peace process to, to be successful in the end without the highest levels uh, having their heart in it and uh, uh, mustering the necessary political will to do so. Civil society can play a role in acting as a catalyst and preparing um, the, the nation for the ultimate um, objectives that the government uh, has in mind. One final question. According to you, what's the biggest challenge in negotiations? Well, it is uh, what we call resilience, and that is that uh, it's not only starting a process, but also seeing it through till the end. Um, in many cases, you see that peace uh, negotiations or the wider process 
uh, after some years comes to a halt or is being reversed again because spoilers uh, are uh, making their influence felt or because the political will is, is lagging or because there are disappointments uh, about the, um, the end state. The expectations were too high and uh, th that, that may lead to, uh, to um, a disruption um, and, and a weakening of the will to, uh, to arrive at peace. Um, but, you know, under, with strong leadership um, and um, a determined um, uh, sense of um, purpose, this, this can be avoided and peace can be at hand. Thank you, Mr. Pray. Thank you.